呃，啊。How nice! I like to start by doing a bit of maintenance work. The biggest secret to ironing I've come to learn is just good old-fashioned water. And what this does is it just gives the fibers a little bit of dampening, which softens them up, therefore making it much more pliable while ironing. Starch is optional in here, and starch has the added benefit of becoming a bit of a Protective layer to prevent against stains and spilling on the shirt. And I like to be a few steps ahead of what I'm working on. So I'm doing this collar first. After that is going to be the yoke. So let me get that dampened as well. And then finally the sleeves. I like to let that just soak in a little bit. I set the heat on my iron to match the fabric. I'm ironing. If the little icons hadn't been rubbed off, you'd see that I have my steam set to maximum. And then I take my iron and I just start on the outsides and work my way in. The reason being is to reduce the chances of it wrinkling. And I like to hold it on the other side just to give it a gentle tug. So it sits nice and flat. You see how, despite my best efforts, it's still just a little bit wrinkly looking. Turns out I used the wrong interfacing when I made this shirt, and there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm gonna do a proper collar video down the road. For now, let's flip that over. Moving on to the yoke, and I like to use the edge of the ironing board just to flip over the shoulder, and get that to lie nice and flat. Gentle tugs in any direction. It's going to help it to lay flat. Over to the other. On to the cuffs next. And feeling a little dry, so I'm going to do some top-up spritzes, just like the collar, from the outside to the middle. The reason there's a higher chance of wrinkling here is because it's two layers of fabric, as opposed to just one. Flip around to the other side. Repeat. Do the placket as well. Button that up. The sleeve is lying nice and flat, not a wrinkle to be seen. And then on the underside where the seam is, I work my way along. Oh, oh boy, nope, don't want wrinkles. Don't want wrinkles. And press up to the top. Oh, that's hot! Up to the top by the shoulder here. For this little pleat here, I like to first just go behind it, get it nice and smooth, and then for a short distance, oh, a few inches, I press that flat, like so. I like having this crease at the top of the sleeve. Some folks are vehemently against it. I suggest rolling up a small towel, just sliding that in there, and voila, from here, just go ahead and press that out. We'll readjust. Do the next bit.
If you're really committed, you can buy an ironing board dedicated just to sleeves. Now moving on to the body panels, front side with the buttonholes first. Gentle tug on one end and just work my way up this placket. And the reason we do the body last is for the same reasons that the spritz helps to soften the fibers, it also increases the chances of creases with all the handling. So doing the body last reduces the chances of creasing for the bits we see most. Around to the back and up one side first. For this pleat in the back here, what I like to do, I start by just running up into the pleat, making sure it's all laying flat. Then I adjust the fabric so it's lying flat in its final form. Then I come in from the other side, over top, just a handful of inches again. Come in on either side here just to Really get it flat and smooth. Finally, back down the other side. To finish off, I do the front on the other side. For the buttons here, I can either just work my way around them and the fancier of irons will even have a little divot to work your way around the buttons or I can flip it upside down and iron over top. Extra tip, uh, if you're ironing a dark color or a black and it's giving you that sort of a sheen while you iron. Iron from the inside out to reduce that. Finally, hang to dry and uh, admire your handiwork. Oh, gorgeous. If only this wasn't just straight water. <laughs> Me and all the corns are running a rather low budget operation here. If you're doing this just before you put it on, uh, you're immediately going to get creases in it again because the threads are still a little damp and so just as much as it helps it take out, it also creases just as quick. So I personally make a ritual of it every Sunday, give my clothes a little bit of love, ironing, you know, enjoy the process, all that nonsense, you know, but also good. Cheers. Water's good, you know. Anyways, 